Hi everybody, Nicole Bray here from Wholehearted Art. Thanks for stopping in and watching this quick video today. I wanted to create this video to share with you um, my thoughts on this piece that I've created. This has been a bit of a work in the making, um, but primarily it's the story in the making that's behind this piece. This piece is dedicated to my little sister and it's called Braveheart. And it's also dedicated to all of the brave women who struggle with infertility. Um, my sister has been on a very long journey of over five years trying to conceive. She has one successful uh, pregnancy with our, my adorable nephew and her adorable son. And he's a true miracle because she's spent the last several years struggling and fighting to have just one more to add to her family and to give him a brother or sister. So this piece is the culmination of all of her strife and all of her struggle, but also all of her inspiration. Sorry, I can never get through that part without getting weepy. Um, but all of her inspiration, she has been an inspiration for me in my infertility journey. I personally have endometriosis, which um, actually causes me to have a blocked tube on one of my sides. So I only have one ovary that's um, getting eggs to where they need to be. Uh, and there are several stories, millions of stories of women out there and the reasons why they are struggling to conceive natural birth. But the beauty of art and the beauty of being a creator is that you can put your pain and your suffering and your joy and your happiness into the pieces that you create. And I am so blessed that I have a creative talent to be an outlet for the things that go on in my life. And this is a culmination of exactly that. This is the culmination of my sister's struggle, my struggle, and all the other millions of women that struggle with infertility. Uh, one in six women struggles. Um, so I'm gonna go a little bit into the individual pieces that are, that are on the piece. I'm gonna start with, um, of course, her. She's a warrior. She's got war paint on her face. She has a very dedicated look to her. She is facing forward and taking on whatever comes. And when you go through infertility and you get told by doctors that it's going to go this way and then the next appointment, something is discovered and no, we're going to change the plan. And it's going to go this way. So that position of her face is her just charging forward and taking every setback and releasing it and surrendering it and letting it go and then charging forward one more time once you have the energy to do so. The rings on her neck of her, um, of her necklace, those are the rings of the many, many years and the millions and millions of doctor's appointments that women have to go to in order to successfully have a pregnancy. The Broca, the um, sort of confetti sparkles that are she's coming through, um, those are all the little spirits that um, are trying to conceive, as well as all the little spirits that have not made it. Um, part of the struggle with so many women when they struggle with infertility is the losses. Um, many of them have a miscarriage. Um, I've heard many stories of women who carry to term only to lose their brand new miracles. And yet these women continue to fight and they continue to muscle up whatever courage and strength that they have left. And they go forth to be a mother. And that is, of course, so many people know, is one of the greatest gifts. It is difficult to think that as a woman, you're not allowed to do that, or there's, there's a feeling inside that you are maimed by mother nature, that somehow you weren't made right. And you flip back and forth between those emotions of being broken and different and not like everybody else. But I do also believe that a big part of women's struggle with infertility nowadays is, is what we're putting into our bodies. I wholeheartedly knew uh, at the very beginning of this piece that it was going to be a dedication to my little sister. 
Um, and what transpired is, is the warrior that you see here. And I hope that she will inspire many other women who are just struggling. You know, yes, many of us are struggling with infertility, but who isn't struggling with something? Um, I don't think anyone is immune to, to having a struggle in their life. I think that is just, sadly, the status quo. So for any woman out there who has a brave heart, this piece is also dedicated to you. And I hope that you um, look for the prints and purchase one if you wish to, or feel free to just snag it off the internet and make it your beacon of courage and light and know that this brave heart is always inside of you. 